I'd like to say good afternoon to everyone. Let's call Pratt River Planning Commission to order. Madam Secretary, would you call roll, please? Mayor Gillespie. Here. Councilman Whiteside. Here. Chairman Smith. Vice Chair Gardner. Here. Chief Johnson. Here. Ms. Carpenter. Here. Mr. Heineman. Mr. McAuley. Here. And Mr. Nelson. Here. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Let it show that we do have a quorum. Uh, I see that we don't have meet, uh, the minutes for the November 19 meeting. And old business, we have a sketch plan. Pratt, uh, uh, Patriot Farm, location on Old Ridge Road. Uh, owner is uh, SMB Land LLC, represented by Barrett Sunstrom Incorporated. Uh, that meeting was held. And I understand, uh, Mr. Duke, you want to bring us up to par? Yes, sir. I'll be glad to answer. I'm not sure that's on. I'm not sure that's on, Mr. Gardner. I apologize. Um, the, the meeting was held on November the 30th with the uh, committee and your committee members may want to uh, address uh, these concerns. We, we looked at uh, most of the items that were discussed at the last meeting, uh, primarily uh, the area for the, the billboard, um, the billboards that were along I-80, excuse me, I-65. And it was determined uh, with the committee that uh, that area should be taken out and separated um, part of the plat, I mean, away from the, the platted lots. Uh, it was also determined that there would be a, Blake, you may have a copy of that, right? Do you have a copy of the revised? Mind if I borrow it? The area here along I-65 basically was um, taken out of the lots, which caused them to lose a few lots there along Street B, Street C, Street D. But it, it took it away from the, the property owners. Instead of them having to deal with the, the power line easement, uh, that easement was pushed over into the billboard lots. Uh, that essentially it's a complication of the easement over on the, the existing owners, not, not the future lot owners. Um, discussed uh, access to the north over here on the, the northwest corner. Uh, Stub Street was added. Uh, discussed access to the uh, green space, the amenity area. Uh, additional access was added. Um, I believe all of these were basically offered by the, by the applicant at the committee meeting. So I believe not to speak for the, the committee, Mr. Chair, but I believe everybody is, is satisfied. Uh, staff is certainly satisfied. Uh, we have some outstanding questions that really can't be answered until preliminary plat, such as turning lanes on Old Ridge Road, uh, traffic calming, all of those will certainly be a part of the preliminary plat. But it, this, is, this is the time to mention them and discuss them, but it's not the time really to show them on. That's a, a good bit more engineering design than is necessary for a sketch plan. Hi, Mr. Duke. Uh, Ms. Carpentry, uh, who was a member of the committee, would you like to speak on it for us, please? Yes. The committee composed of Mr. Smith, uh, Chief Johnson, and I met on Monday, November 30th with the developer. And the reason we really met wasn't, was mainly to go over the numerous um, items, the staff comments, and not that they weren't addressed in the meeting prior, but we hadn't had time to go over them. And um, there were just a lot of them, but they were addressed and we went over every one of them. The developer has made a few changes and um, I think the committee as a whole was happy with, with what we saw. And I do wanna say another thing that we addressed was the landscape easement along Old Ridge Road. That was something that we talked about. And, um, and then the dead end street that was over a thousand feet, I think that's been taken care of. 
in the new sketch. So everything I think that was a concern has been addressed and was addressed. All right. Thank you, Ms. Carpenter. Uh, any commission meeting have any questions? Uh, Mr. Duke, the, Ms. Carpenter. How far down the road are we talking about here in terms of seeing a preliminary plan? I know I understand that's a preliminary plan. On your part. Probably late spring. Um, annexation and zoning request um, next month. Um, we are we're prepared to is in the way. <laughs> we're prepared to submit the um, annexation and zoning request package. Um, on Tuesday, so we're hoping to bring that before this commission for the January meeting. From that point, we'll go through the, um, the annexation and zoning process, and if everybody's got warm and fuzzies, um, we'll actually commence true um, surveying, field topography work, and engineering design. And it would the preliminary plat would be, I would, I'd say Mayish, something like that. Okay, I, and I presume that the uh, handling of the easement along I-65 and making that space larger and to cover the billboard power line and so forth was satisfactory to the landowners? Not ideal, but it is acceptable. Any more questions? He's learning, you know, after four or five years. Four or five years. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Any more questions of the commission? Uh, okay. I think we got it four of them already, don't we? It's been read. The resolution been read in? All right. If there's no more questions, all in favor of the resolution? Uh, Mr. Mr. Duke? Did we table it? or? Yeah, you, you did table it. What I would request that you do is that you change the resolution to, to amend it to say that the, that the modification is made by the, by the applicant uh, and approved by the committee. Because right now it basically reads as, as submitted. And so we just need to make sure we catch that in the, in the resolution. All right, we, did, did we table it or did we table it to the next meeting? How did, what did we do? You, you oh, held it. Here. You held it, which basically brings it up automatically. Okay. It's, it's before right. you properly. It's just not does not read to reflect the, the, the changes that were made. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would uh, recommend that we, the, we amend the motion before us to reflect the changes that were made with the committee meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Second by Ms. Carpenter. Any more questions? All right. All in favor of the resolution being changed as uh, submitted by the applicant, let it be known by raising your right hand. Opposed, like sign. It was unanimous. All right, now let's vote on the, that, that, All right. that was the amendment. Let's vote on the motion now. Right. Resolution. Uh, any questions of the resolution? If not, all in favor of the resolution of the sketch plan of November 19. Let it be written known by raising your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Mm -hmm. Item number two is a resolution. It's a. Let me go back. Wait a minute. Let me get back. Uh, item number two is a final plat, Glenbrook Plat uh, 4B, location Glenbrook Boulevard and Tumble Hall Drive. Owner is SMB Land LLC, represented by Barrett Simpson Incorporated. Uh, Mr. Duke would bring us up to speed on that, please. Yes, sir, I'll be glad to. Um, you have, in your packet, you have basically what's labeled as, as 4B. This is the second plat in the preliminary that was uh, approved as 4A. Um, as, and Mr. Mr. Rice will probably tell you that they're, they're coming as they complete uh, a few lots. This one uh, includes, I believe, roughly 29 lots. Is that correct? 29 lots. Um, previously had added uh, 27 in the first plat. Uh, again, it's an extension of Tullahoma Drive. 
Uh, it's there at the end of Glenbrook Boulevard. Um, <clears throat> you have a location map there in your packet as well. Um, be glad to answer any questions. The, the public improvements as required at preliminary plat are substantially complete. Uh, we have a small punch list that they're working, but uh, paving is down, sidewalks, I believe, are in process, and uh, utilities are in place. So it does meet your definition of substantially complete. When you say substantially complete, at least 90% or so? Yes, sir, 90%. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, asphalt is, is down, curb gutter is in. It is uh, near, very near completion. And we would, as always, hold it until it is absolutely complete. All right. Any question of the commission of Mr. Duke at this time? I was going to see what Mr. Rice. Okay. Mr. Mr. Rice, you have any comment? Any, no question for Mr. Rice. Uh, uh, Mayor Gillespie, would you read the resolution in? Yes. Excuse me. Let me start over. Uh, final plat, Glenbrook Subdivision Plat 4B, December 17th, 2015, whereas SMB Lands LLC is developer of Glenbrook Subdivision Phase 4B, whereas the proposed development is located inside the city limits at Glenbrook Boulevard and Western Street and Tullahoma Drive, and whereas the initial sketch plan was approved on May 16th, 2013, as Glenbrook Subdivision Phase 6 through 6, Phase 3 through 6, endorsing the realignment plan of Old Ridge Road, whereas a revised sketch plan was approved for the development of September 18, 2014, whereas a revised sketch plan was approved for the development on March 19, 2015, whereas development, where the preliminary, preliminary, whereas the preliminary plan was approved for the development on April 16, 2015, whereas the city department heads have reviewed and, and commented on the proposed development. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the City of Prattville Planning Commission hereby gives its favorable review of the submitted final plat of Glenbrook Subdivision Phase 4B. Mr. President, I'll so move. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Are we open for questions? Mr. Duke? Chair, a gentleman sitting here beside me uh, asked if he could have a few minutes of your time to talk about this plat. It is not ordinarily public comment period for a final plat, but I believe that he, he has some questions he'd like to ask. And it, has he signed in yet? He, he certainly can do that. It, it is, uh, you can take him now or you can take him at some point. You don't necessarily have to take it at this point, but as a request, I just needed to make, make you aware of that. All right, uh, let him come up, please. Thank you so much for letting me speak. My name's Greg Duncan. I, I live on the 782 Glenbrook Boulevard, been there from phase one of the Glenbrook subdivision. Uh, I've been in contact. Uh, first, I started off with the Homeowner Association at Glenbrook. Second, I've been in contact with uh, my councilwoman, Miss Brown. And I've been contacting with the, uh, the city planning office and uh, George uh, told me that uh, he suggested that I come and talk to you all today. I'm not so sure, obviously I missed something that this was a final and not an initial uh, public uh, reaction, but there are literally hundreds of dump trucks and cement trucks and 18 wheelers with building materials. And I live in what I thought was a residential area and this is, you would almost think you're in a mining operation or something. This, tr I, I would just ask the plan if anything can be done to, to make Stone Martin builders build a construction entrance off of Old Ridge Road somewhere and quit carrying all of these trucks right down through our, uh, through our neighborhood. I have heard, I have not personally witnessed, but I have heard of children almost being hit by these trucks. I have literally seen them not slow down and just blow their air horn. There's noise pollution all over. It's just... You would not think that you were in a residential, a residential area. If I had bought a house on Fairview Avenue, it's kind of hard to complain that uh, there's a lot of traffic. But there is so much construction, heavy equipment uh, traffic over there, and I would just add up or add to it. It's like 
those roads are eventually are going to be turned over to Prattville. Um, that brand new roundabout that they just put in where, where the Ford dealership's going to go uh, on uh, Old Ridge Road, that thing, when it gets to July and August and those uh, and that asphalt gets 140, 150 degrees and these big old cement trucks and dump trucks go around that roundabout, that's just going to rut out. These, these, I would just ask if there's something that can be done that we can get these vehicles to come in through a north entrance. It's a quality of life issue to me. It's an economic issue to them. I, if you lived over there and that, I, I, I think you would see it's just it's a quality of life issue. And I just, anything that can be done, I, I would just be very appreciative. I'm the only one here on this. We go out in our neighborhood and we walk. Every neighbor I talk to, they're all sick of it. Uh, and, and and just anything that be, it could be done, I, I would just appreciate uh City's help, planning commission help, any help I can get. I, I've done everything I know how to do. And I thank y'all for letting me talk to you. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Mr. Rice, would you like to speak on the comment? I would. Um, I do understand the problem, and Mr. Duncan um, is, is correct, and I'd also like to tell Mr. Duncan actually left me a message uh, two weeks or so ago, and which I passed on to Stone Martin. Did you receive any feedback? All right. Wait. If you're going to speak, you need to speak in the mic. Make sure we get it. Make come a part of our records. No, sir. No, sir. Nobody has called me back. But every person from the planning uh, commission office to the city council, councilwoman uh, Brown, to the homeowner. So everybody's been sympathetic, but nothing's getting done. It, 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 it's, and, and I've been around a few years. You usually people will do things that's what's in their economic. Uh, businesses will do what's in their economic interest. The minute my um, my mortgage company paid Stone Martin Builders, they they lost interest in one. But I say without a phase one, there wouldn't have ever been a phase two, and we wouldn't be talking about 4B right now. Everything that keeps on going back, and I think they're going to build hundreds of houses back there. And and, and, and the traffic is just, it, it just needs to be stopped. I mean, it just, it, there just needs to be a construction there. Really, the only thing I can say to that right now is let me see what I can do. Um, I'll get back, put some effort into it, and see if we can't come up with a solution to this. Yeah, because that is a great concern in communities because I do a little construction, they say, and I, I understand the, 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 the gentleman feeling about the construction interest. And, and if it's a small project, yes, you can get, get away with it, but when you're talking about years of operation in a community, it makes a lot of sense to have a construction interest. And that's one of the things that I don't think we've ever discussed here. And it makes it easier for the neighborhood and it makes it easy to be understood by the planning department and the planning commission once you do have a co uh, construction interest for a project as large as the ones that you all have. So uh, if you will, get back with us and let us know as well, you know, and, 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 and tell Stone Martin to get us something in writing to let us know exactly what they're going to do now in the community. Absolutely. Let me, let me see what I can do on it. All right. Thank you very much. Any commissioners have any questions for Mr. Uh, I, Wright? I guess I, I would comment that this, as the process goes on, it gets easier to get to what you're constructing from Old Ridge Road. It does. And, you know, so as time goes on, it gets better. May not be any help to, through phase five, but after that, it'll get better. Let me let me but, come up with a plan. I'll but, get with Joel, and yeah. we'll see what we can, what okay. we can work out. Yeah. They, they should be able to help it some. At the very least, pay attention to what they're doing. We will. Yeah. Any more questions, Chief? And this is probably something you're planning on addressing anyway. The entrance that you and I have been working on for code purposes, is that a possible? That's going to be my next that's, conversation. That's, that's what I figured. That's really the only 
the only avenue that I really had to explore, but I've got to do that with the adjacent property owners. Sure. That, okay. That, I think that will solve his problem if that's doable. I, I appreciate it. Thank you, Chief. Are there any more questions for Mr. Rice? If, uh, thank you, Mr. Ryan. Thank you. Mr. McCarl, if you will, would you read in the found plat resolution? That's the motion. motion. Yeah, let's hear what it is before we do it. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Duke? Didn't we, didn't we address this once before? I'm going to vote on number two. Did we vote on the final plan? Have they, have they read the resolution? Yeah, they have read the resolution. Okay. Let's vote on the final plan. Oh, okay. Thank you, I guess. I don't remember what we did or not. But yeah, I've never read it. We do, we'll do it again. No, it's, we all good. All right. Uh, no further comments. All in favor of resolution final plan of Glen Brook Subdivision Platform, B, let it be known by raising your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Thank you. All right, uh, we, know, we have another item on the agenda for the miscellaneous. Uh, a replat by Angela Thompson property, plat one. Uh, a replat of lot 13, 14, and 15 of uh, Breakfast Creek uh, Forest of plat one. And that's location of uh, County Road 85. Uh, Mr. Dukes, want to tell us in what's, what's going on? Yes, sir. This is a simple replat. You have a piece of property that maybe not as be as clear as I'd like for it to be on the on the plat itself, but you, it's a, a good bit going on on this plat. But uh, you, simply put, you have uh, two large you have two large pieces of property. You have a previous um, cutout of a of an existing platted lot that's being corrected by this replat. So it involves lots 13, 14, and 15 of the previously uh, platted Breakfast Creek Forest Plat Number One on the west side of County Road 85. Uh, we have examined it. it; it meets all your requirements, and we we would recommend approval. Again, it, it cleans up some previous uh, meets and bounds transfers that we prefer not to see, and actually are not permitted by state law, but uh, they do happen. And uh, this cleans that up. So, hey. no, sir. This is the first one I've ever seen. Um, yes, we've we've done Conestoga Wagon Trail, which is just up the road here. Uh, we've we've seen that a couple of times, but in, in the, this case, uh, just to review, you end up with um, out of this, you'll end up with two parcels, uh, all of them being sufficient size. Uh, to, to allow for single family residential and um, but like I said it meets your requirements be glad to answer any questions uh, if you're just record have any questions for Mr. Duke at this time no. I move that we adopt the replat of the Angela Thornton property plat one which is the replat of lots 13, 14, and 15 of Breakfast Creek Forest plat number one. Do I hear a second? Okay. Any more questions? If not, all in favor of the replat, let it be known by raising your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Anything else, Mr. Duke, on the agenda? No, sir. The only thing I would wish you is a Merry Christmas. Short, I need to speak with you as the chairman of the Martin Luther King Drive Committee, and I need to, uh, I've spoken with Mr. Uh, Smith about uh, his committee work dealing with uh, the Spring Hill community. Uh, we should have reports on all of those, I would hope, from the chairmans at the next meeting. Okay. If no further business, uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Second. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Thank you. Did I say sure?